Love, peace, and soul, everybody. What's up? Welcome. Yes, we're going to definitely do a wonderful love reading for the closing out of Scorpio season. This will wrap y'all to next year. <laughs> Even though Scorpio season, you already know, Link is over. I'm sorry, it, ling it lingers over into Sagittarius season. And we can't let it go out without a love reading. So, we're going to tap in. I'm going to do singles and couples. I want to thank everyone who has supported the website relaunch. Hey, what's up, Soapbox Jones? Oh, what's up? Soapbox Jones, everybody. They be over there. They be over there. <laughs> <laughs> they be over there uh, talking some truth over on their channel, too. All right, we're going to do singles, and we're going to do couples, and we're going to see what's going on. Welcome to my world, Soapbox. Oh, yeah, welcome to my world. Oh, definitely got to leave that. Wow. So, y'all, what's going on? This Mercury retrograde season, I kind of liked it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of liked it. Yeah, there was some mishaps, you know, but everything got taken care of in the long run. I feel this Mercury retrograde was so necessary. It, it really was a healing one. Since all, I mean, the worst was um, cancer. To me, that was the worst Mercury retrograde this year. If y'all check it. <clears throat> Mercury went into retrograde in all of the water signs this year. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, see, okay, see, preparation. I think that was what was key. Like, after that cancer, um, I think it was subconsciously. After that cancer, re Mercury retrograde, we was like, uh-uh. How the summer did me? I was like, yo, I'm going to be prepared. Not even being feeling like prepared, but just making sure I was on top of things with myself. You know what I'm saying? Rested when I needed to rest. That's why y'all haven't seen me in a while. Rested when I needed to rest. You know, work when I needed to work. And everything wind up working out in the long run. Plain and simple. Oh, what is going on? Oh, singles? Okay. It's all good, though. Using my, uh, mm-hmm, romance angels. Learn some, listen, for me, it was a lot of nostalgia. This Mercury, this Mercury retrograde season for me was more like, just like life reviewing so many things about myself and so many aspects of myself and, you know, just revisiting things, even just from revisiting things from last year you know comparing last year to this year you know that always takes place take um comparing 10 years ago to today you know just just taking a, a tally and looking at the different milestones right and i'm like wow you know and i think that is what attributed to for a lot of us um being able to circumnavigate you know, this Mercury retrograde. I mean, I'm just speaking from my personal experience. Um, me doing a reevaluation and then looking back and, you know, you know, issues and, you know, things coming up from the past that are coming back for review. You know, like your perception has changed, you know, to a certain extent. Hey, style and profiling. Yo, I love my day ones. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Again, you can book a reading with me at my website, empresselegance.com. Um, you can get a spirit. Yo, my spirit sprays have been off the hook. I'm telling you, like, um, my spirit sprays have been off the hook. I want to thank everybody who has ordered your spirit spray. I may take apple harvest. Um, I may make that seasonal, that flavor. So if you want your apple harvest, you need to get it now because I th I'm thinking about making that a seasonal thing for harvest season. So, um, hey, 
Gift baskets is definitely, I'm about to add that one tonight. I'm adding gift baskets for the holiday season. You can get you an aura spray. Everything doubles with the spiritual meaning context. Spiritual use as well as physical use. My salt sugar scrubs are phenomenal. They are definitely good at getting the dirt off, but also get keeping negative energies and entities off of you too. That sugar salt scrub is no joke. I'm telling you right now. I've been using that. And I don't know. I, I think I like it better even than my shea butter. Like as far as like the look of my skin and things like that. Like my tattoo. The colors have come back. You know what I'm saying? In, in my tattoos. And I'm just astonished. And it's something I just like started throwing it together. Like ooh I, I want to do a sugar scrub. And just threw it together and I'm like, wow, the, the, like I said, the physical uses and the spiritual uses definitely have surpassed my expectations. The aura spray, y'all already know about the aura spray is off the hook. Use it for your altars, your crystals, your sacred statues, um, your doorways, your windows, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you, that sugar, so I've been using that on my face and then also... My body butter on top of that, like, I'm like, y'all, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you can get a gift set of three. I'm going to add that onto the website tonight for your holiday, for your gift ideas. And, you know, everything is crystal infused. So, when you get to the end of your product, you'll find a little crystal at the bottom, which we know crystals are amplifiers, and it amplifies the energy in the product. You know what I mean? The love and also the um, the natural ingredients that it, they also help your skin. It's like it nourishes your skin because remember, it's an organ. So it digests everything that you place on it. So listen, most of my stuff. Y'all seen the pictures on my Instagram Go to my Instagram, Empress Elegance, and you'll see, like, you'll think that I'm whipping up a cake. And it's the body butter. Well, with that being said, let's get into the reading. Hold on. Let me get some tarot and see what the tarot got to say. I, I was, like, so conflicted. I was, like, I don't know what type of reading to do. Today, I was like, hey, I want to do a love reading. I haven't done a love reading in a while, but there's some definite spiritual messages that are coming out, too. But <clears throat> we'll see. It may all come together because at the bottom of the deck, we got spiritual connection here. <laughs> we got spiritual connection on the board. Okay. So I separated into singles and couples. Mm. Couples are going through some healing energy, healing some family issues. Singles are getting over unrequited love. It seems like, yep. That's oh, yeah. No, there's no doubt about it. Hold on, let me move this. There's no doubt about that. Wow, singles got a raw deal. <laughs> singles got a... Oh, I'm going to pull for my erotic deck, too. Hold on. Oh, you got me. Where am I pulling from? I'm going to put that one to the side. Yeah, the couples seem like... The couples seem like they back, like... Oh, yeah. The couple's got a better deal than the singles right now. Because, it's man, it's cuffing season. You know, but I feel like, you know, as as a single person myself, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I'm working through myself and I'm healing. You know? That's what I'm seeing for the single people. Like, that's all that you, that's all that you need to put in is putting that work for yourself. Yeah. There probably was um, an option that 
you wanted or, you know, maybe there was a person you wanted to pursue or, or you know, the last relationship you just had. It was, it was toxic. So you healing from that, you know. And it's good that you take in the time. I feel it's best that you take that time out to heal. You know what I mean? Then to rush it and then wind up in the same situation and then stay and then be single longer. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button as y'all come on and you don't want to be single any longer. Like what you know? Uh-uh. Yep, and I'm bringing my goddess halos. My goddess halos are gonna be coming back. Okay, made with authentic crystals. I just had my earring too. Where did it go? I just had it right here. It disappeared. You see, that's how crystals stay. That's how crystals stay. I just had my crystal earrings and it just. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Every time I see these cards. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. What's going on? Okay. Was Scorpio season, um, like, you know, was everybody getting their groove on? What's happening? What's going on? Hold on, y'all. Wait, I pull some, I pull more as I go. I'll pull more. Let's get started. Yeah. Say what? Go ahead. First card out. We got appreciate the moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And like I said, I feel like this opportunity that you have that you by yourself is an opportunity for you to grow and know yourself, you know, to know your capabilities. You know, I no longer look at um, being single as like something that's debilitating. Like, you know, like something is wrong with you. You're single for two. No, it's just that you're taking that time out. Right. Being present in the moment to know that you're going through a healing stage. You're healing from the past. You're, you're going through an evolving stage right now. You know, 33, to find that love within yourself. So, underneath that, yep, this is what I'm saying. You're healing from, you know, a relationship that didn't work out, a possibility that didn't work out. So, you're healing from all of that, right? Whether you, And then, also, too. When you're going through a spiritually anointed, you know, time to yourself or celibacy or whatever the case may be, there's, you're going to be rep repulsed to certain options that may come your way. Because there, there's going to be people coming your way. It may not, it's not that you're not getting no type of attention or no type of, you know, interaction. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when it's spiritually guided, it's like, nope, it's not gonna work. So you there's gonna be options that you're gonna be turning down too. It's not that it's not that, you know, people are only turning you down. It's you turning people down too. Like, nah, they not what I'm looking for, you know, whatever the case may be. See? Seven of Swords. Now with this depiction, I've spoke on many of times. You see the the chakra colors. This is to me indicative of chakra work too, straight up and down. You know, for I feel like some truths to be revealed about possibly you know your ego. You know what I mean? Yeah, really and truly, it's about your ego. You know. And for it to be expressed in a higher, you know, to be able to bring that energy up. Because you see with the snake, with the head up, is always about ascension. It's not always about negativity. You know what I mean? And and then it's going up to the purple. So you see here, with from the, from the crown, right here, the purple leading up to the crown, the pineal is here, right? So that's a mix between the blue and the purple, which is the indigo. I mean, you, I could go on and on. 
you know, I could go on and on about this. But you just need it's needing to ground yourself, you know. Mm. You got the tower. Let me see. Hold on, let me put my hand over. <laughs> put my hand over it. So um the tower. Yeah. It's that's what I think it is, you know, because a lot of us right now. A lot of us are single because we we know that we're destined for something better. We're doing going through healing. So, like I said, there's gonna be options that's gonna come about that you're not gonna really want to go there with. You know what I mean? They may not, or they may not be interested. Like you, the both of you, but it's like. You, it's your choice. Like, are you that much in a rush to be in a relationship that you're just going to skip the steps of healing in order to get that relationship that you want? You know? Starts with forgiveness. Forgiving the past. Forgiving yourself. You know what I mean? Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. Scorpio energy too as well. We know that is the, that's that clinging energy. Um, not only do scorpions have a stinger, but they also have pincers too, that will grab you and, and hold on to you and pinch you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like we hold on to the pain, that type of energy. But like I said, with Mercury being in retrograde, that was a, to me like a type of blessing because it brought about all these old feelings you know, all these old emotions um, were coming up for the expression. We're coming up for that mental review. And it, all you can do is forgive yourself from the things that you've done in your life and forgive the other person. And it's like, you know, again, this is talking about enjoying the moment, being in the present. Like all those things that happened are not my present reality, you know, but when you focus on it, it can become your present reality because you're in that emotion and you're in that mindset from the past of when it happened. But you're not in that, especially if you've been doing work on yourself, you're not in that same space that you was, you know, in, then in the past when you went through something traumatic, you know, or disappointing. So it's like, you know, now again with the attraction Two, you're going to be bringing in suitors. Suitors are going to be coming in. There's going to be people that you're going to be attracting. People are going to start noticing you, especially when your energies begins to shift up, especially when you start to let things go, when you start to show yourself and others forgiveness. Six of Cups. That's what I'm saying. A lot of nostalgia. This, to me, a lot of nostalgia. Um about childhood, about my ex-partners, um, people that I didn't even, you know, like the people that you go into that talking stage, but y'all never really popped up. Like thinking about all of those interactions too. People that you even forgot about, you know, the energy. And then you th think about the energy again that you were at that time when you were seeing that person. And you like, I would never talk to someone like, you know, I mean, like, and entertain someone in that energy from that level again. So a lot of nostalgia came up, you know, and you're thinking about who are your soulmates in this lifetime, you know, or in this time period right now at the level of evolution that you are right now. Hit the like button. Come on, people. As y'all come in. Four of Cups. See? That disappointment that I was talking about. Okay, for some people, this is why it's so hard for you to heal. Because you've been through a situation where you caught someone in bed with someone else. You know, you know, it's really bad stuff that really would traumatize you into getting into a new relationship again. You know, and this is why this is why it's so hard, because it's like you walked in on that's that's like the hardest to come back from. 
to actually see it with your own eyes. Like, that's crazy. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. See, this is it right here. This is what's going to bring us over the hump. This is what's going to bring you into couple <laughs> couplehood. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going to make you progress into that, which we're going to get to in a second, to the couples. But this is like being, you know, because, all right, let's look at the first one. Oh, this is deep. This is deep. This is where we started out at, right? Appreciating the moment, right? Learning how to be in the present, not stuck in the past, right? And you see here, she's holding a con like a conch shell too. And she's more of a childlike, see? That innocence, that pure, you know, hey, Leslie, that pure energy. And then check this out. This is a 33 and then this is a 6. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's a progression. It's a progression when, you be, when you're able to show love like a child. And they're both wearing green. When you have that heart opened up. You know what I mean? When you go back to. That's what I'm saying. There was. I feel like. Singles, there's something that you need to go back to, some type of swag that you used to have. You know what I'm saying? A type of swag, a type of flavor, a type of switch. It was a type of, um, especially when you were young, you know what I'm saying? Fresh, free, that you need to regain. That you need to regain about yourself, you know, before you got hurt. <laughs> you need to get that back. Okay, that type of energy. But, you know, now, you know, armed with the wisdom of everything that you've experienced. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy. See, when you begin, see, when you express love, we begin to receive more love. See, it's the same thing. You receive more love. So when you give it, you receive it. When you're open to it. All right. When you know that you're safe, that you're not going to be hurt anymore, that you're not going to be going through any type of toxic relationships, or it may be controlling relationships or karmic relationships, you know, I feel like this, this has been cleared. Then with that six of cups there too, that's also like, you know, yep, someone from a past life, a soulmate from a past life. And you just needed to clear that energy. That's why you need to show forgiveness. Because that breaking moment is all part of your ascension. You know what I'm saying? That breaking of the heart, the unrequited love, the feelings not being reciprocated. You putting in so much effort. You know, all of that is part of the narrative. This is what... You know, this was written in a contract, in your soul's contract. This is what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? For you to be able to rise. For you to be able to... Um, damn, how do I explain this? <laughs> All right. How do I explain this one right here? We got the king of swords. Yeah, this is the king of swords. So I think this is like coming to a personal truth. You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> oh, is a personal truth. Um, how do I explain? It's hard to explain this. This card right here for some reason. Um, I don't think I can show y'all. No, I can't show y'all. But. I think like gaining control now, like of uh, the positive thoughts, knowing that you're safe, keeping that in your mind and that you're ready for intimacy again. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm saying. It's like you're ready for intimacy again, no matter um, if you gained weight or, or also your standards as to a lover, like, you know, the things that were deal breakers before. Hey, what's up, Stone Soup TV? You know what I'm saying? Those that 
yeah, like, you know, they have to have a certain, they got to be a certain height or they have to have a certain look. Like, all of that has changed because, you know, it's a level of maturity, you know. Okay, what else we got? We got balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. That I feel like this is also the giving and the receiving too, you know, and the forgiveness that needs to take place. The past is now behind you. Oh my goodness. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith. See? New path. New soulmates coming about. And this one says, give thanks for the bless blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I already know. I already, <laughs> I already know. This whole Scorpio season just reminded me. It just reminded me, of, you know, a lot of who I am, you know, like where you really came from. And maybe because I got a lot of Scorpio placements, but. And then Uranus is, it, you know, in opposition of that in Taurus, which is on my son. And I'm just, I just, y'all, I'm telling you, it just took me back. And I just was like. It was a breath of fresh air to go back, really, you know, to take that time out. Couples, love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. And I think when we are in relationships, sometimes it's about like, the unit, you know, of the relationship, the family, you know, it's the identity of all of us together. But really and truly, you still are an individual that, you know, you have your own likes, your own dislikes. And you, yourself, by yourself, contribute a lot to, of course, to, you know, this whole existence, period, to humanity, to your community, your family, your tribe, your nation, all of that, right? So is loving who you are essentially to the core in order to be able to bring um, a whole being to a relationship, to a family, right? You got to still hold on to who you are intrinsically. And it's like, you know, healing family issues. For, again, you see for, forgiveness is coming up too, even for the couples, you know. And, you know, maybe forgiving your parents or the elders in your family on the dynamics of how a relationship should be or shouldn't be. Oh, that is so good. That is, um, that's my own concoction. <laughs> that right there, I'm going to have to go buy some more before it's, uh, pumpkin apple cider. Mm. Mixed with a little shunting, shunting. That right there. Too. Okay. You know, forgiving the elders in your family for showing you how a relationship is supposed to go. Maybe it wasn't, you know, that it didn't function that well. You know what I mean? And now it's you feel like it's affecting your relationships or even who you are attracted to. Because we know that too. You attract, most of the time you attract you know, your father or or you attract someone who's like your mother. You know what I mean? So, what is going on? I'm doing a reading. Stop playing with the door. F healing family issues. Um, <coughs> we got the high priestess. Here. And, oh, see? Here go my earring. I'm about to add this to the website. This is Blue Spy Jasper. Now, I made handmade these. I didn't want to wear it. But, yep, this is my jute blue spot jasper earrings. And it goes with the, it can even go right here. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is what we talking about here. High priestess, though, couples. It's like, um, there's some secrets. There were some secrets, possibly, Within your relationship. Um, 
Yeah. Could even possibly have thoughts of like your partner was cheating or something like that. Or this is is this the Queen of Swords? Yeah. So underneath this is the Queen of Swords with the High Priestess. So because maybe that the, there was secrets going on, it's like, well, we're going to separate because, you know, you feel like you can't trust this person, you know. You feel like you can't trust this person because maybe you might feel like they're cheating on you. You know what I mean? I'm going to pull some more clarity. I got to pull some more clarity on that because that's what it could be where you think like they have someone else on the side. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate re what you want. So you see what I'm saying? <coughs> you realizing who you are by yourself, you know, within this relationship, what you contribute to the relationship. You know what I mean? It's, it's like it's giving you an opportunity to think about, like, you know, if, is this relationship um, worth saving is it worth it to move on? You know, do we need to just rekindle the fire? Is that all that needs to be done? All these are these secrets um validated? All these suspicions are they validated? You know, is there substantial proof of this? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Um. So, but. I think is they saying like stay optimistic, you know, about the outcome. You know what I mean? Period. Because you know the truth is gonna come out regardless. The truth is gonna come out whether somebody is um. That's what I think too with that queen. So it's like the truth is gonna come out regardless. You know what I mean? And you got the strength card with the six of pentacles. So, I think <laughs> maybe some maybe some couples have gone for counseling. This is what I'm saying. Maybe had gone for counseling, and they they just like yeah, like y'all just need you know more action. <laughs> he just need more action. Like more passion in the bed, like being more reciprocal. Um, if one partner does not feel satiated, doesn't feel like their needs are being met, even if an even if the act is being done, even if there's some type of intimacy, but it's just like okay, wham bam, thank you, ma'am, and because you all become so routine in it, you know what I mean? They may feel like, um. You know, like, nah, I need more time. You need to spend more time in this area. <laughs> you need to go back down there. <laughs> I mean, it's like that, but yeah. Y'all get the gist. Y'all get the gist. Y'all get the gist. You need to go back down there. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> and then we got turn your heart light. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on the time when you experienced love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back to the beginning of the relationship when it was nice and hot and spicy. Like, you know, it's it's all in the in the train, it's all in the mind. Like you could get if it's a real relationship and y'all are backed by strength, you know what I'm saying? There's a firm foundation in this relationship, then yeah, like there's definitely a way to spark it back up. You know, remember why y'all together in the first place, not to be robotic, not to just take care of the kids, you know what I'm saying, or the children and the bills and the rent. It's not just about that, you know. Got to be more playful. Yep. You got to take that time. This is what I'm saying. 
this is what's coming out. It's like going back to that time when you was young and f that feeling. Go back to that time. And you can still, in the adulting that you do, you can still have that youthful vigor. You know what I mean? <coughs> Playing around with your partner. I mean, role playing, everything, little things. Like, even if you feel like, oh, I'm too old for this. Like, nah, that'll, that's how you keep yourself young. That's how you keep your relationship fresh. Son of ones. Take, that's definitely taking some actions. Going on vacation, having date night. Um, you know, just keeping, keeping up that passion alive. Going out, you know, renting a hotel, you know, having that time because you got the death card, which I feel like, like there was an aspect of the relationship that it was getting stale. It was getting dead. You know what I mean? But you can definitely, it, there's a, re, can be a rebirth cycle. You just got to bring in that element of change, that element of spontaneity back into your relationship. When you, okay, wait, I didn't start from the beginning. This one says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yes, this is underneath the high priestess with the queen of, of swords. So it's like, you got to evaluate, why do you feel that your partner could possibly be cheating on you? Things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why would you think that? <clears throat> Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. You are evaluating. But I feel like you have the freedom also. Now that you expressing your authentic self in, within the relationship. And you know. You talk with your partner. Communicate with your partner. And be authentic to yourself. At the core. This is what's going to bring another level about of, of freedom within the relationship for both of you to express your true selves together. And then we got when you pass from this world, that's crazy, right underneath the death card. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So again, it's about creating those new memories, those spicy memories that y'all always going to... um remember that you know that you talk about remember that time <laughs> remember that time when we booked that fight and we just went over here and dropped the children off and we had the time of our lives girl do you remember that i'm trying to tell you uh-oh my battery about to die hold on let's pull some more clarification let's go back to the singles What's that selling the swords about? Mm-hmm. Definitely gonna look at. Wow. Wow. Singles. Couples. What about this high um, priestess and this queen of swords? Wow. Strength. Mm -hmm. And this knight of wands and the death card. Mm. Yep. Okay. So singles, I pull for the seven of swords. Obstacles to union. You know what I mean? Your ego, like I said, that ego, that healing work, that letting go of the option that you thought you was gonna be with forever, all of that. And I think it's union within yourself, you know. The duality of yourself. Your light and your dark. You know. <clears throat> you name the gamut. That's what that that was. You know. Your ego too. That's the obstacle to you. 
attaining union. And speaking of union, I pulled on the Six of Cups. Hey, what's up, Stray? I pulled on the Six of Cups. We got the Ice Queen and the Twin Flame card. Like, it just won't stop. But I feel like <clears throat> that's probably what that unrequited love is about, too, with that twin flame. Okay, so this is like, you know, you melting your heart. And like I said, forgiving, forgiving everyone who has rejected you, all the hurt from the past, you know, even uh, thinking about this twin flame aspect, forgiving all of that. Okay, for giving your part in the matter. And that is what's going to help melt that ice that is around your heart. Again, is bringing in cohesion, the duality within yourself. Okay, the two energies within yourself. I pulled on the devil and the, and the king of swords. I got travel and family. So, again... Knowing that it's safe for you to love, you know, you by yourself, you could do you. You can have fun. You could go visit family. You can travel. You don't have anybody to answer to. So enjoy this time of being single <laughs> because it's not going to be forever. <laughs> All right. Going into the couples, I pulled on the high priestess and the queen of swords here. We got destiny and soulmates. Oh my gosh. Destiny is soulmate. So, this is why this is coming out. Like, <clears throat> to me, it's saying, like, if you think your partner is cheating, I mean, of course, if there's overt, overt evidence, then handle that. But if there's no overt evidence, <laughs> of your partner cheating on you, or you just may feel that way, you may feel like they're not that interested like how they used to or whatever the case may be it's like well you know this is your soulmate you know this is this is destiny this is um oh thank you beloved thank you for your contribution um this is like you realizing like no we were meant to be together so we're gonna have to put in the work to bring back to try to revive the relationship you know what I mean? I, I say give it a try. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like give it a try. That's what it's showing. Even with the death card there, I don't think that that means like a death to the relationship. I think it's a death mm -hmm. in the cycle. Oh, no. Wait. Um. Aya. Dang. I need my charger. No, I know. Come, come. Quick, quick, quick before my phone go up. Damn it. Huh? Yeah, pass it to me. Pass it to me before it goes out. Quick. Thank you. Did she go yet? Wake her up. Uh-uh. Close the door. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to have to put it right there. All right, so. Bubby, but um, Aya, please be quiet. For the, I pulled on the strength and the six of pentacles. And y'all got dating queen and spiritual growth. So, I feel like, too, this is like a testament to... Not only the growth in your relationship, but, you know, your individual growth, your spiritual growth, right? Like, do you want to, you know, be quick to get back in the dating scene, get rid of a relationship? Like, oh, it didn't work out. So, you know, I'm just going to move on to somebody else. Or are you going to show some maturity and be like, all right, I'm going to give it a try. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like it, 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 it's worth it enough to give it a try. You know, um, and then I pulled on the Knight of Wands with the with the Death card and Work and Beauty Queen. So you see what I'm saying? Like the cycle that's coming out is like 
yeah, we know you got to work to pay the bills, you know, to handle responsibilities, but, you know, <laughs> oh, okay, now I see this, right? <laughs> you see it, right? It's like, okay, yeah, you know, like I said, the relationship could have become robotic where you take care of the children, getting them to school, you know, the routine, right? Because this is like six house to me. You know, the routine, the work, the service to others. You know what I'm saying? But then you also got to be able to bring that spice. This look like Sag right here. You got to be able to bring that spice back into the relationship. Okay? You got to be able to put on, you know, your outfit. You know, have your hair done. Things like that. Have your shape up done, fellas. Okay? Get them edges and them ridges <laughs> lined up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to keep the interest of your partner as well. So, it's coming out of that cycle, like, you know? Um, let me see what else is going on here. Let me pull. Let me, let me go. I guess I think that's it. That's all the love decks I got, basically. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it at that, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I might do some more. Um, I gotta start doing zodiacs, most definitely. So again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the support. Kelly, do you want me to pull? Let me pull a card for you real quick. Let me pull a card for you, Kelly. Or a couple cards. You know me. Let's just see what's going on with you. To send some love right back to you. Okay. I appreciate you being here with me. Because I'm a rocket to the wheels fall off. Because y'all know what's happening. You know, there's a lot of changes in these platforms. And I'm going to keep y'all posted. Oh, thank you, Stone. I pull a card for you, too. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, we got to try to keep it going for the real ones that's still out here doing the work. All right. So, Kelly. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but this is in the past, though. This Three of Swords. This is in the past. You know what I mean? This is ancient history. You know, but um, we always tend to carry it along with us, you know. But there's some truth. There's You learned a great, valuable truth with, with what, uh, whatever happened with this heartbreak, right? And <clears throat> I think that you've learned... Like, you really are about your business. You know, you're about your abundance. Because look at the eight. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you are like, you know, I'm about my coin. You know what I'm saying? I'm about my abundance and all of that. But there is, I feel like this emotional happiness is here for you. You know what I mean? The Ten of Cups, that's soul, that's soul tribe, family. Oh, yeah, that's linking up with kin, you know? Soul kin. And you got the will. This is destiny. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be faded meetings. You know how you meet somebody in the store and then y'all start talking and it, you just hit it off or... You know, parent night or family night at the school. And then you just start hitting it off with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like, so dope. So, you know, you're going to definitely meet up with the Ten of Cups, people. Yeah, because of you all the balancing out. The Two of Pentacles, all that work you've been doing on yourself. So, I say, I say. <laughs> I say, I say, girl, because you got some good things coming. To you now, Stone. What's good? Let's see. Stone is my neighbor, so let's see what's going on with you. Hold on. 
give it a good shuffle. How you liking that rainstorm? <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. It ain't rain out here. We got now we getting like a week's worth of rain. I'm like, yeah, I say yeah. Cause we need it. I said, take it for Scorpio season to bring the rain. Hey, Stray. What's up? Oh, y'all really showing some love. Hold on. All right. So, Stone, you got Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Six of Cups. Oh, boy. And the Emperor. <laughs> okay. Queen of Pentacles. Um... That could be like your, you know, like your woman, the woman in your life could be, you know, your your children's mother. Um, but definitely a, a nurturing type of energy that she could be coming into your life. They could be okay, with the four of cups here, uh, this queen of pentacles. It's like again, this is like your form of like heartbreak of guilt of shame of you know just how the past events went i'm telling that's what i'm saying i'm telling you this work this Scorpio season was a kicker because it made people review you know interactions with other people um businesses places or things so this is what was brought about for you you know you thinking about your past you know and I feel like too, like the those negative thoughts, they could get solidified into something that you would have to navigate through, right? The Six of Cups, because the Six of Cups is Sun and Scorpio too. See, bringing out the Scorpio season. Again, this is with children. You see what I'm saying? I think too, like being around children is more is healing too at this time. Like being with your children. Um, it's holiday time. So being with your children, spending time with your children, um, is what will um like bring you some warmth during this time. But you got the emperor, you know what I'm saying? So this is you like wanting to build up your legacy possibly for your children too. This is what you're thinking about. Like you thinking about your children's future, you know. Yeah. So this is you setting up yourself in a way that you'll be able to sustain the generations after you. You know. And we're almost really with an iron fist too. You know how that go. That's that Papa said. Papa said. You know, but overall, I feel that, you know, you going through reviewing things emotionally is going to help you to be able to be strong for other, for your family and your friends. Where the deck at? Okay, here we go. All right, my stray. Let me pull some cards for my stray. For my stray, stray, stray. Stray. <laughs> Stray. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. That flipped over. This flipped over. Like, no. You gonna pull me out. Ten of Pentacles. That's the ancestors. Is, oh, they like, yo, we got a message. Oh, she channeling for Stray, y'all. She channeling for Stray. Come on, because we got to get this message to him right now. We got to use Empress. She, yeah, she channeling right now. <laughs> she about to channel to him. She about to tell his ass right now. All on board. All on board. Okay. Yo, hold on. Okay. That pop. Yo, your cards are just stray. 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 See, this is the record. So this, is, this is the redemption. Right? Judgment is like the redemption, the reconciliation, the retribution, like everything that is due, that has been due to you. Ten of Pentacles with judgment. 
Oh, that's definite, definite your inheritance. Ace of Swords. You see what I'm saying? Four of Wands, Trey. You see what I'm saying? Like, your calling, your higher calling is, 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 is coming into view. Straight up. Your higher calling, your answer, see, this is why they were like, yo, you got to realize, you know what I mean? The truth of everything that you've been through. There's some energy that you need to release. There's some energy that needs to be released. And I feel like, um, damn, look at them triple eights, though. Look at, look at them triple eights, though. Hold on. So. All the truth from the, from what you have released. If you've already been releasing, I feel like working on yourself on releasing certain things is making way for, um, new beginnings to come through. For you. This sword is old. See, there's some there's some new truth. There's come there's some truths coming through your DNA. This because this is straight ancestors. The Ten of Pentacles is straight ancestors. Your spirit team, right? So it's something that's coming through your DNA. Cause look, look. That shit is coming through from the ancestors again. You see? It's coming, it's just straight coming. It's gonna leak out your like leak out your pores for real. Especially if you're able to get that sun. Do you see that? Especially if you're able to get in that sun. Okay. Look at that liquid gold. Um, get on that liquid gold. Most definitely. I'm about to start my liquid gold regimen too. Like so that these truths could be revealed to you. These downloads need to be revealed within you. With the four of wands, you already know what that is. You already know that stability. Because it's like being solidified. Look at that. With your, your ancestors is definitely going to be linking up the right people that you can celebrate with. That you can work with. All of that. You've been taking the gold. <laughs> Nigga, you dripping. <laughs> you dripping that gold. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that gold, I'm okay. What I'm seeing, I'm telling you, I don't know if you have children, but I'm seeing, I don't know. I don't know. That look like a belly to me. That looks like a belly. Okay. That's what, that's all I'm saying. And you all on, on this special serum, you better be careful. You better be careful. You're on this special serum. Okay. You dripping that go. You dripping that go. <laughs> Yo. But you already know, four of wands. Um, there's a need for you if you don't know already to like link with the vanguards of that your known ancestors. Um yeah, the known ancestors, right? From your known ancestors, you can pretty much sorry. They'll let you know who's the vanguard. Like who's the leader of the council, okay? And you need to convene with them personally. Because they're the ones that do the most work. They're the ones that's closest to you. Um, you know, from the spirit realm. So they'll be the ones that will most likely, you know, communicate with you. So find out those vanguards, y'all. Of your um, ancestral group. So thank you. This is always going on longer than I wanted to. I wanted to do other stuff. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, We're going to rock it till the wheels fall off. You already know what it is. 
I'm definitely researching some things. So, you know, just in case this platform doesn't work out for me, there will be others. So, grateful for y'all again. Hit me up, empressgem17 at gmail.com. Stray, you already know what it is. And, um, you know, get your apple harvest before I may take it off. Peace, Stone. Um, thank you for everyone who, like I said, y'all, y'all keep me afloat. Kelly, Stalin Profiling, all my peoples, thank you. Leslie, um, Soapbox Jones, thank you for joining me and everybody else in the room. And I'm going to see y'all on the check-in. Hit the like button as you come on out. Peace.